All right, we're gonna play another Arduino deck. We're gonna use Water Acceleration with Floatzel and Blastoise. Floatzel is handy because it has free retreat. Blastoise is able to do 100 damage anywhere, and Arduino can do 40 damage times the amount of energy. And each one of those is reliant on flip, so this is more of a fun deck than a serious deck. Uh, we'll see what Pokemon matches me up against. If it's something competitive, I will lose terribly. If it's somebody else just fooling around with a fun deck, then we might have an interesting story to tell here. So, looks like we're going to play oh, whatever that says, and let's see what we've got going on here. So we got the Arduino, but we did not get the double colorless. Yeah, so our opponent here is probably a lot more serious than what this deck is, but that's all right. You never know. Oh, and I'm playing. Looks like a Vile Plume, Cobra Lion deck. Which actually is kind of handy because then he can't catch her up my bench, which is where everything comes from. So we'll see what he does here. He's probably already assuming he's playing a terrible deck and he'd be right, but I've got a catcher, so if we can snag an energy, we can try and knock out this Oddish on the first turn. Two catchers. And at this point. I'd rather have an Oak than a Sages. And unfortunately, I need that energy. So I'm not going to use Collector. Nah, let's do this game right. So let's start setting up our bench. So we'll grab... Boitzel, Boitzel... Squirtle, let's see what we got going on here. Uh, and the game's getting laggy. So, these should be, yeah, our two. Actually, I'm not seeing any Blastoise, which kind of scares me. So, we only have one Hydro launching Blastoise, means the other one's prized. And we'll see what our opponent does. So, slow start. We missed out on what this deck needs to do from the get-go, which is knock something out on the first turn. And then we're going to have a lot of big basic Pokemon, which is going to be a problem. Yeah. So already we see Gloom. Now I'm really going to have to get lucky here to knock this thing out. Unless he plays another one and is just going to let me knock this one out anyway. We'll see what he does. So he doesn't hasn't grabbed a catcher yet either. So his start really isn't that great either. So Skarmory. Which, search your deck for... Wow, search your deck for a metal energy and attach. So he should be able to get his Kobaline going fairly quickly. Hitting for 80 and forcing me to waste energy retreating. Let's see. So all we've seen is an oak. So he sees what I see. So I'm going to have to... <laughs> I can't Juniper my hand because I'm going to need that Fisherman and Sages later. And the Blastoise obviously can't be Junipered away. So this is just kind of a worst case scenario. Uh, we do have a Fisherman. Maybe I will just put that in the discard. 
I just, I'm not even certain what to do anymore. This has been a terrible, terrible start. So, so long, Ardino. And hello, War Turtle. Which I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> so I really can't even set up at all here anymore. So I think we're pretty much going to lose this one. Unless we get a candy before he gets Vile Plume. And that is the sad fact of it. So we'll set up a Floatzel. Second turn goes by where we're not able to do anything. I'll just catch her his gloom again. And this game is pretty much over for me. Not much I can do. he can do either, but he doesn't realize that I have no access to a Blastoise, and the washout Pokebody is how I plan on getting energy to a Adino, and essentially I'm just wasting time. So yeah, he is going to go for the second, the second Oddish. He's going to make me fight through this gloom. So there's our candy. There's our collector, and Juniper, rather. So now I feel a little more comfortable using Juniper. And unfortunately, he has a three retreat cost. And we're just gonna try and get set up here. Grab the floatzel. So So he's got two energy here, so we are hurting, that's for sure. So there are fourteen energies in this deck. Ten water and four double colorless. So yeah. He's ready to go with Cobalion. Lion. Well he's gonna have to retreat. It's Vile Plume, so he doesn't play Switch. He's just gonna have to wait like I'm waiting, so. Now, with a good Juniper, we could Hydro Launch. next turn if we got the energy. We'll see. So, there's one energy that we need. And we're just going to Juniper and hope for some more. And we did not get enough. God, we can get a second one set up here. Before the lock. Yeah, this is just nightmare scenario. What we can do, however, is just eek. So we're gonna have four waters in the discard. And we junk armed our fishermen. And we're pretty much out of resources. So, three more water into the discard with no way to get them out. The Blastoise is too important to lose at this point. And we will eek. Probably should have used the Poke Gear. Yeah. 
There's some serious energy for us. <laughs> I think we did see a catcher out of him, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Weird to see a catcher in a vile plume deck. So, he's established his lock. We are done with... So I should have used that Poke Gear. But we have enough energy to actually knock this thing out. No, we don't. Because he's got a special men metal on here. So we have enough energy to annoy him. So he's going to take 130 to go down. So finally, after turn 7,000, our inconsistent water acceleration engine is finally in motion. So Squirtle's useless. We can't even use him anymore. And, yeah, we have a pretty poor hand. So we need prizes. So let's take a look here. I can't put too much energy, because he's going to be able to do 20. So I can only put 3 energy onto Audino, otherwise he can just return the knockout. And he's probably aware of that. So now Sages would be nice, because we could get some of these things into our discard pile. Look at all that stuff we can't use. And there's a Blastoise. So, powerful slap! And 70 damage. And he shouldn't be able to knock me out, so I'll just powerful slap again. Five, six, seven. Don't know why he did that. I think it was a bad move. So, this game's pretty much over for us. Unless we get some lucky flips here. Ah, that's right, I can't. So, I'm gonna have to... promote <laughs> Squirtle. So we'll let him knock out a Squirtle. I will continue to be denied prizes. And... that is going to be all she wrote. So, one, four, and a double colorless. So, he's going to be able to Kobolion through the rest of my deck. Well, this is very handy. He's going to let me take all the damage off of my Adino. And then is he going to end me? We shall see. Floatzel has free retreat, so I'm not super concerned. actually going to do here. So I can do 60 damage. That's not going to be enough. So we're actually going to have to use Blastoise. discard more energy into the discard pile at some point. So, Sayonara, there goes your four metal energies. Come on, War Turtle. So he's going to have an interesting decision here. Because I will just keep Hydro launching and hope for the win.
Yep, and he's gonna make me work for it. Do have Floatzel. He's gonna be able to do 60 damage, so he'll be able to clean up whatever Hydro Launcher doesn't do. Man, we have got a lot of supporters, so. I'm just gonna continue to put energy in play here. Because I think at some point we're gonna get stuck with Floatzel. Question is, who do we go after? And I don't know the answer to that. So, we need five prizes. We can only two shot the Cobra Lions. Skarmory's gonna let him get energy into play, so that's what we're gonna go with. Come on, War Turtle! Ah, oh, no War Turtle. We know what our next target is. And I will just take the cheap prizes, so. Come on, put a medal on Skarmory. That's a very interesting move. Ah, he's gonna retreat his Oddish. Another Odino, not very helpful. And we are just going to. Damn. Thin the deck, I guess. That's all we can do. So our deck's getting low. Yes, nine cards. I cannot take. Unless he keeps dropping easy targets for me, I'm not going to be able to. Take four prizes and nine draws. So I can't use sages anymore. There's really not much I can do here. Alrighty, so friendly chap. Sinar Skarmory. War Turtle. Yes! Alrighty. That doesn't actually help us. I wish I could actually type better. So I would have a more meaningful conversation, but it's lagging pretty bad. So. In a weird twist of fate, I'm actually leading the prize race. But uh, it's not going to last forever. So, RDL, Rayquaza, Deoxys, Legend. So, yeah, looks like my opponent drew even poorer than I did. Right now, he's probably just hoping for metal energy, which explains why he kept... Wow, so uh, unexpected. The Audino Floatzel <laughs> Blastoise deck actually wins in the Vile Plume Kobolion match, so 350 damage. That's not very much at all, and uh, the deck didn't work at all, but uh, we stuck with it, and uh, we won, so I'll take it. <laughs>